You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Rudrance for Black and White Sports 2. Well, I really like this lady that is running for governor down in Arizona right now. She has come out and said that if she is elected governor, which I believe she will be, that she is going to fight back against the border invasion. Now, I'm here to tell you, I understand this is the, uh, one of the sports channels. And generally, we don't do a lot of politics over here, but nah, who cares? Um, I'm here in Texas. Yes, this is an absolute problem. It's a problem you're not seeing on the mainstream media outlets out there. They're not covering the border invasion. They're not covering the things like fentanyl fox news is newsmax oam places like that uh and of course daily wire the blaze um but your legacy mainstream media outlets are not covering this this is a real problem i can tell you all the way up here where i am in east texas look you can feel the border invasion up here okay and um a lot of people worried we're worried about crime and i know people that's down around the border in that area. And I mean, people are just coming right through their yards. That's crossed the border. It's, it's completely chaotic. Okay. And I mean, they don't want to talk about Chicago and New York, not having the infrastructure DC for, um, all these migrants coming in that they're, that Biden's just letting in. Well, um, do you think small Texas border towns do? I mean, come on. Let's use common sense here. So, Carrie Lake has come out because the NFL does have a past of threatening entities and um, even moving, trying to move events out of Arizona. Well, she was asked, Carrie Lake was, about the NFL threatening to move or trying to play chicken with her over a border invasion because she said, I'm, I'm declaring a border invasion. And um, if she's elected, she basically come out and told Goodell, bring it on, Roger Goodell. If you want to fight me, we will go. This is media. Carrie Lake dares the NFL to pull the 2023 Super Bowl from Arizona. If she becomes governor and declares border invasion... Carrie Lake is daring the NFL to move the 2023 Super Bowl out of Arizona should she become the state's governor and declare an invasion at the southern border. Lake went after the league Sunday during a forum which was originally designed to be a debate but became a one-on-one -on -one interview. Katie Hobbs refused to participate. Moderator Mike Broomhead set up the question about the Super Bowl by first asking Lake about her plans for the border if she were to win. Let's just hear a little snippet of what she says right here. SB 1070 with boycotts in Arizona. We know the Super Bowl at one time was pulled over the Martin Luther King law. You're gonna, you would be inaugurated, you would be sworn in a month from the Super Bowl being here. If the NFL were to threaten, they're going to pull the Super Bowl if you do that. Would it make you waver in your decision? You want to tell me that a bunch of football teams owned by billionaires, are okay with fentanyl pouring across our border at a record level, killing our young people. Number one killer right now is fentanyl, 18 to 45. It's killing a generation of people. If the NFL is okay with that, then they got to do some soul searching. I don't think the NFL is that stupid. I really don't. So you're, you we wouldn't be concerned about sure that? We want to that we're stopping the cartels. Okay. No, I'm not concerned. Okay. The people of Arizona is who I work for. <laughs> she said, no, I'm not concerned. <laughs> uh, quote, you have stated for quite a while, day one, you would declare an invasion at the southern border. Do you believe ha you have the legal authority to do that? Quote, absolutely, Lake said. Article 1, Section 10, United States Constitution. Broomhead then cited the NFL previously stripping this Arizona of the Super Bowl in the 1990s, over their refusal to recognize the Martin Luther King Day as a holiday. Quote, you would be sworn in a month from the Super Bowl being here. If the NFL were to threaten they were going to pull, if you do that, would you waver? And she teed off. That's what you just heard right there. It's killing a generation of people. If the NFL is okay with that, then they ought to do some soul searching. 
The Republican added on Twitter, if the NFL wants to play chicken over the 2023 Super Bowl, I can promise you that I win that game. Logistically, it is next to impossible for the NFL to move the 2023 Super Bowl, even if they wanted to. With sponsors, broadcast entities, and countless others already having made plan- their plans for Arizona in February, the hurdles are seemingly far too great to overcome, making this a fairly low-risk dare by Lake. Is it? Is it? I mean, uh, look, we cannot count on dumbass sports leagues making dumbass decisions when it comes to leftist politics. Why Why am I saying that? Well, look no further than Major League Baseball pulling the All-Star game out of Atlanta, Georgia over what they deemed to be a racist voting law. It was not such. And now the statistics have bared that out from record, record Georgia voting turnout among blacks, by the way. I mean, Stacey Abrams and, and, and uh, Rob Manford look like shit over that decision. Well, Roger Goodell right here, you got to wonder, you get some woke players out there that start showing their ass and calling out the league. The mainstream media starts going after the NFL and calling out the league. Roger Goodell, DeMore Smith makes some kind of a comment in regards to Kerry Lake in a decision like that. Would the NFL actually pull the Super Bowl out of Arizona? Wow. By the way, there's a team that plays there. Didn't start stop Major League Baseball. By the way, they pulled that all-star game out of predominantly Georgia, a black, black-owned black business, uh, Atlanta, Georgia. It hurt the black community there really, really badly. It did. That shows you how little research Rob Manford did when he went to make this decision. Stacey Abrams has tried to cover her tracks by blatantly lying that she wasn't involved in that decision. Yes, she was. Absolutely, she was. And uh, it hurt the black community. Black businesses were going to make a lot of money off the MLB All-Star Game. They moved it to predominantly white Denver and Kersfield. What does that tell you? You know, think about that. It's crazy. It's crazy. I like Carrie Lake. She's bold. She's no hose barred. Uh, I thought there was a chance she would be the vice president candidate for you know who if he decides to run again. It's going to be, it could be her, but it could be Tulsi too. I don't know. I'm thinking she's gearing up for something. Uh, Both of them are. This woman is going to go big, big places. Highly intelligent. Peace. I'm out. Good luck, Roger Goodell, tangling with her. Till next time, Black and White Network supporters, make sure you go over and check out the Black and White Network merchandise store. 25% off USA First. 25% off USA First. Go now. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.